Welcome to another episode of Get Vision TV. In studio with us today is the dynamic Gladys Diaz, co-founder of Heart's Desire International. She's a dating and relationship coach, author, and speaker who believes that it's every woman's birthright to experience the joy of being loved, cherished, and adored by the man who is perfect for her. Gladys has appeared on numerous television and radio shows, including CNN, Univision, Telemundo, and Comcast's Newsmakers, to name a few. But before we get into our interview, we're going to take a quick word from our sponsor, LLKO Designs. Looking for your next hot, sexy hairstyle? Well, come visit us at LLKO Designs for the latest Peruvian, Malaysian, and Brazilian hair. All of our hair can be flat ironed, curled, permed, colored, and go through other chemical processes. At LLKO Designs, we not only care about your hair, we care about you. Our motive lies within the passion of patient advocacy and cancer research. As such, a portion of our proceeds are donated to the cause. Visit us at 4747 Northwest 103rd Avenue, Bay 12, Sunrise, Florida, 33351. Telephone 877-556-6596 or log on to www.llkodesigns.com. LLKO Designs for beauty and style that's simply you. Welcome back to Get Vision TV and in studio with us today, is Miss Gladys Diaz, and um, she's such a great person, relationship coach, life coach, dating specialist, and she's here today to just talk to us. Tell us what's in our heart about gratitude, giving back. It's a Thanksgiving season, and um, we know so many people are out there who are searching for the right mate. Have a mate and don't know how to say thank you. So can you tell us, before we go into all of that, who is Gladys, really? Well, Gladys, above everything else, is a blissfully married woman oh, wow. <laughs> with two little boys. And I, you know, I say blissfully married. It wasn't always uh, that way. It wasn't terrible. We weren't on the verge of divorce. But I knew in my heart there were things that I wasn't doing to make my marriage the marriage of my dreams. Wow. And uh, once I started practicing the skills that I now teach, I really was able to see how you know people have this idea that relationships are hard and I have really learned that it's really quite easy when you're actually more committed to being happy than you are to being right wow I just love that because <laughs> you know most people think you know I need to be right I want to be right I you know happiness is important to me and but we never put both together to say which one do you really prefer so that statement is so profound and um, yeah you know um, in this life, we sometimes tend to think, you know what, I just want to be the person that everybody sees that is always doing the right thing. But is that making you happy? Absolutely. And we always want to do the right thing. And usually when we lead with our heart, mm. we are. It's when we get into our head. And my sister, who's also who's my, my business partner, she always says, this is a very dangerous neighborhood. You want to get out of here. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> because that makes us want to protect ourselves, defend ourselves. And any time that we're in relationship with anyone, whether it's our, a date, our husband, or a friend, if we're not coming from our heart, we're coming from a place of defense, from protecting ourselves, and then we have to defend our point of view. And what happens is it really does impact the intimacy that's available in the relationship. Well, so what would you say to someone? How do you know that you're, 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 you're following your heart or you're in the neighborhood where you shouldn't be, as Michelle, who is actually her <laughs> twin sister, by the way, um, would say? Because is it that because when you, when you move and you, you, you think from your mind and not your heart, you're being more defensive? Absolutely. Is that what it is? When there's lack of peace, right. when there's lack of authenticity, when you're not really being yourself, mm. it's usually you're not coming from your heart. The minute that there's something to prove or there's something that I have to, you know, the other person, I have to convince them, then I'm not coming from my heart. Because if I really love you, Michelle, we don't have to agree on everything for me to respect your thoughts and your ideas and say, okay, I may not agree with them, but I respect that they're your thoughts and your ideas. 
And then there's no me trying to convince you, me trying to persuade you, because when we get into that type of uh, conversation, if in order for one person to win, the other person by default must lose. And so really who's winning? Are we really building a relationship, a friendship, or am I just really the person who always has to be right, always has to have the last word, which means I'm leaving, you know, a string of people with broken hearts behind me. Well, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, selfish, if I want a better word, but couples pretty much today and uh, marriages are failing, mm -hmm. especially in the church. Um, and, and, and that is so sad because we know that we should have it right. We should know um, what God says. We should be following what God says. We should be loving the wife like the like Christ loved the church. We should be submitting as wives, and um, and and you spoke about surrendering. You just, you know there was you know before we had um, the interview started. So just tell me a little bit about how do you counsel married couples who are going through something who really wants to get it right. Right. Well, I work primarily. I was telling you before. I work primarily with women because I really do believe that we have the power to create the type of relationship that we want. And power is different from control. Power <laughs> is something that comes from within, and I do believe that we, we do set the tone. You know, there's that saying, when mama's happy, everybody's happy. Well, yes. when she's not, nobody else is here. <laughs> so, so when we begin to focus, and that's what, when we start talking about gratitude, mm -hmm. we'll talk about this a little bit more, but we begin to change the focus from everything he's not doing that's making this relationship the way that it is to everything that I can do to make this relationship the one I want it to be. It's a very different conversation. And now, instead of looking over there for everything that's wrong, everything that's missing, I can look at myself and say, what can I bring? What can I bring? If there's respect is missing in my relationship, can I bring that? If forgiveness is missing in my relationship, right. can I bring that? If understanding and acceptance is missing, Am I willing to bring that? Because if I'm not willing to bring it, then I cannot make him responsible for bringing it himself. <laughs> but many times the wives really, even myself, it's like, we're not seeing that. We don't, we don't, or, or we really just don't want to admit it. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's scary because it, it requires being vulnerable. And whenever we make ourselves vulnerable, there's a chance we could get hurt. And, you know, we tend to protect ourselves and create a little bit of space and not let people get too close and you know gosh if if I say thank you is he gonna think that he's doing me any favors <laughs> well he is doing you a favor which is why you're saying thank you um, you know if I respect his choice does that mean that I'm agreeing with it no it simply means you're respecting it you're not contradicting him you're not um, criticizing him you're not correcting him you're simply saying if that is the choice that you feel is the right choice, I will support you. Unless it's going against something ethical, you know, moral, that you know it would put you in emotional or physical distress, to say I respect it does not mean you have to agree with it. It just means I honor you, your thought. As your wife, I will support you. Wow. It's, it's just amazing how much we need to do and, and go through. But let's just take another word from our sponsors. LLK designs at this time. Looking for your next hot, sexy hairstyle? Well, come visit us at LLKO Designs for the latest Peruvian, Malaysian, and Brazilian hair. All of our hair can be flat ironed, curled, permed, colored, and go through other chemical processes. At LLKO Designs, we not only care about your hair, we care about you. Our motive lies within the passion of patient advocacy and cancer research. As such, a portion of our proceeds are donated to the cause. Visit us at 4747 Northwest 103rd Avenue, Bay 12, Sunrise, Florida 33351. Telephone 877 556 6596 or log on to www. LLKODesigns.com LLKO Designs for beauty and style that's simply you. Well, welcome back again. And of, of course, in studio with us, we have Miss Gladys Diaz, um, who is a relationship life coach, dating specialist, and she's just so amazing. And her words of wisdom just, it, it's just 
so much. I, I don't know, we needed maybe two days or more to, <laughs> to get all of the information that she has inside of her. And, um, you know, I was just thinking even in the break about women that are, in, that are dating now, um, women, single women who really are trying hard to get connected with someone. And what is it that you would recommend that they do? Well, one of the first things that we tell women is you do not have to go looking for a man. You do not have to go chasing for a man. The chances are that the man who's there for you is already looking for you. Man, what you want to do is to attract him. It goes back to a little bit of what we were talking about in the previous segment, being what you want to see in your relationship. So if in the relationship that you want, you want to experience love and peace, connection, the safety to be able to be who you are, then that's who you need to be being already. That's who you right. have to be being out in the world already so that you can attract that to yourself. Um, many women focus so much on the man that I want him to be this and I want him to weigh this much and have this color hair and drive this type of car <laughs> and make this much money. And really what you want to get clear on, it's okay to know the kind of man you want, but his height and his weight and his bank account have nothing to do with the experience that you can create together as a couple. Wow. So you want to focus on what is the experience that I want to have in a relationship? Mm -hmm. What type of relationship? Focus on that, be that, and then attract it unto yourself. And, and the Word of God says, he who finds it a wife finds it a good thing. So we really should not be out there looking for this man because he will find us. He will find you. He'll only recognize you. Like, if you say, I want peace and love and honesty, because I know that's one of the fears that women have. I want him to be faithful to me. And you're being peaceful, loving, trusting, and trustworthy. That's how he's going to recognize you. Right. That, oh, that's the type of woman that I want. So you don't have to worry about chasing him and trying to find him and beat out the competition because the man who's right for you is already looking for you. Wow. You know, it's the Thanksgiving season, as I said before. And um, many times we do not show gratitude in our relationships. You know, even married couples who are single and trying to find a mate. What do you say? I know important is gratitude in our relationships. Well, I believe that there's two transformational practices that every human being could use to change their lives. One is forgiveness and the other is gratitude. And the reason is because gratitude completely changes your focus. When you're focused on what you're grateful for, then you're not shining the spotlight on what you don't have, on what isn't there, on what's not right. So if we were talking a little bit about it before, if I can be grateful that my husband is a hard worker, I can't be grateful and upset at the same time. So if he's working long hours, <laughs> then I can be grateful that God has blessed me with a man who works hard to provide mm. for me and my family. Right, right. It's a different context. I, I, I use the analogy like we take off the gray colored glasses and we put on the pink or purple, because that's my favorite color. <laughs> purple colored glasses. What about now, white? Exactly, okay, <laughs> or your white glasses. And now you're looking at what is. It's the same thing if you're single. If I'm only focused on I'm alone, I don't have a man, I, you know, I thought I was going to be married by this age and have children, and I can shift to I am a great woman. I'm healthy. I have my life. I have my career. I have people around me who love me, family, friends, and I'm already happy. See? Being already happy, being, uh, being grateful creates that feeling of happiness. And happiness is very attractive because a smile is a lot more attractive yeah, than a scowl. <laughs> so, and it's the yes. same thing in our relationships, mm -hmm. you know. Everything may not be perfect. And I'm not saying live in la-la land. But I am saying if there is something for which you can say thank you to your spouse, your boyfriend, the person that you're dating, then bring that, make that public. If you're withholding it, it's probably because you're afraid of being so vulnerable, of letting them know that they're making a difference for you. Right. Um, you know, the, 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 I, I, recently, I was just talking to my daughter on the phone and, you know, I was saying to her, I heard this recently where I wear white 90% of the time or more. And you will have a, just a black spot on one little part of your clothing. And you will focus on that the, all the time you have it on. Your eye goes there. There's, <laughs> that's where you focus on the negative, on that dark spot. And not remember that you have so much more white, so much more clean spots on your garment. But you're focusing. And I hear you saying we focus too much on the negative and not be 
focusing on what we're grateful for, what we're thanking or made, thanking God for, you know, in this life. And as in the season of Thanksgiving, now is the time when we really should be thanking God and thanking the people that are around us for continuing to be there. No matter how hard or tough it might seem, but now is the time that we really, really should be showing gratitude. Absolutely. I'd love to give your viewers an exercise to do over the next seven days. And then they can write to you and they can write to me and, and we can right. they can share their testimonials. For the next seven days, say thank you three times a day to someone. Find an excuse. He moved the paper. Thank you for moving the paper. He, you know, put the cup in the sink. For the next seven days, three times a day, that's 21 thank yous. And tell me if it doesn't transform your life. Wow. You hear that? You heard it today from Gladys Diaz, co-founder of Hearts International, Arts Desire International. And um, she's saying that for the next seven days, just to anyone or If just... you're in a relationship, to that person, three times a day. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> ladies, you heard it from us here at Get Vision on the TV today. Say thank you for seven days, three times a day, to your spouse. If you don't have a spouse, just find someone. Just make sure you say thank you. Or maybe that's the person that you're trying to be your spouse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my God, this is so amazing. And you know what? I really appreciate you being here with us today and um, just sharing um, your, your knowledge and your wisdom. I watch you on Facebook and I'm like, this lady is just so amazing with your little quotes that you will put on from time to time just to encourage and empower us as women. Sometimes you don't know who is watching, but Absolutely. you know, with God, all things are possible. I want you to just look into the camera at this time. You know, tell us about your book. Of course, we have an ebook, and most importantly, speak to someone's heart. Absolutely. Today. Well, to get in touch with us, the best way to do that is to go to our website, which is heartsdesireintl.com. And there you'll see, you can actually download an excerpt of our book, 30 Days and 30 Ways to Fall in Love with You. It's mm. a 30-day journey to discovering the love that's already inside of you. You don't have to look for it anywhere else. And what I do want, uh, speaking to your heart, is remember that who you are already is absolutely lovable. There's absolutely nothing wrong. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. But perhaps there's something that you want to change. And by learning the skills of communication, um, of how to create a great relationship and then create a wonderful foundation, you could actually experience the love and the life that your heart desires. My God, you heard it today. It can't get better than this. <laughs> Thank um, you. Um, you know, we really appreciate you being thank here. Thank you for we the invitation. Really thank you so much. Um, give us your number. Give the viewers your number, um, your Facebook link, because I am sure that there are so many people, so many women out there that's watching us today that needs to be empowered, needs to be enlightened as to what it is that we really should do in our relationships or seeking a relationship. Absolutely. So again, our website is heartsdesireintl.com. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash heartsdesireintl. And if you'd like to uh, set up an appointment, on our website there's a form that you can fill out and we will set up an appointment with you. Or you can call 305-915-8336 and be sure to leave a message so that we know why you're calling. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. And in everything, we should give thanks. It's Thanksgiving season, and we know we're coming down to this time of the year when many people don't know how to give thanks, don't know why they should give thanks, but we always remember that with God, all things are possible. And God is who we should always be more grateful and be more thankful to than anyone else. Thanks again, Gladys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of Get Visioned TV.